As soon as I lift this up, I went like this. Wow, that's not good. I ate one of those babies. Well, I ate three baby staccato tortoises. And I want to show you guys things that always happen here on the ranch. We're going to collect some hibiscus so we can feed it to those beautiful tortoises that are inside of the patio. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Blake's Exotic Anna Branch. As you guys have been seeing in this thumbnail today, we had some pretty bad things happen last night or the day before that. We had rats come inside of my patio and eat some of my baby tortoises. My voice is still gone, I'm still sick, so that's one of the reasons why this probably happened was because I'm not 100% alert and not paying attention to everything that's happening in the yard. I do still do my rounds and everything, but I'm just doing visual looks, I'm not doing exact counts. So let me show you exactly what happened right now. So I have two bins of sulcata tortoises. We have one here with 12 hatchlings and another one here that's supposed to have 12 hatchlings. These are Avatar's brothers and sisters. Avatar has been inside of the house since it's been very cold here in South Florida. It's been changing back and forth, back and forth. These tortoises can be fine, but because Avatar is a lot more weaker, he's inside since it's been cold here in Florida. So he's perfectly fine for everybody that's been asking. Let's get back to it. These tortoises here, these are some of them. So what was happening was, I was gaming, I came out here to go collect all my tortoises because it was getting cold. And what happened was, as soon as I lift this up, I went like this, and I was like, crap, wow, that's not good. And that right there is a sign of rats. Rats have came in here and eaten my baby sulcata tortoises. And that really freaked me out because I have, these are sulcata tortoises, and these are still tortoises, they're still alive, and it's still a living creature. But I also have very endangered tortoises that are right over here. I've radiated. I have big G over here. And Sir Lincoln star tortoises that are right there. And if those would have gotten eaten, I would have been very, very, very upset. Because those are also donated to me. And these are just very endangered species of tortoises around the world. Even though these are still living creatures, it's just, it's just it really sucked. So, what I had to do was, now it's a new day today. And I'm showing sure you guys exactly what happened. Ahem. <clears throat> We went out to Home Depot and I collected, I went to go buy out more of these traps that are right here. I had these around the yard because we do have parrots. And when you have parrots, rats do come. My whole screen and enclosure here is completely, completely closed in. There's no holes. I've made sure there's no holes anywhere inside of here. But I remembered what happened was, show you guys where I, what I'm talking, well, how the rats got inside of this patio. Let me show you right now. So, I have a system right now to make purified water for the stingrays. You guys know I got stingrays. So I have water collecting all around here into tubs and stuff of that sort. And that gets used to do water changes because I don't have a drip line right now for the stingrays. So we come over here and, stop, go back so I can open it up again. <coughs> and over here. <coughs> Ready? Yeah. So over here we have this, this line that's right here. And every single day in the morning, I come back from feeding all my animals and I do rounds. I walk around my whole property. I came over here, but I forgot. The system's right here and there's red tubes right here. And if I don't close this door completely like this, because there's a little gap, then a rat can come in without a problem. So a rat probably came in overnight and ate one of the baby tortoises because it's been very cold out. They're hungry and they wanted to eat something. So because of me not being completely aware and not locking the door completely because I've been sick, a rat came in and ate one of the baby cicadas. So that right there just gave me a little ding, like a little ring in my head to like, wake up Blake, make sure you lock those doors, lock the doors completely so that nothing can happen. There's always mistakes happening and I have a lot of animals, but being sick that kind of messes me up sometimes and I'm not 100% aware. Let's get back over here. So I set up the traps last night, you guys, and I put in eight different traps around the whole patio area. The reason why I did that, so I 100% Catch that rat. Oh my god, bro, I'm dying. <laughs> so I 100 I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to make sure that I caught that rat that was stuck inside of here because I closed that door afterwards so it got stuck in here and ate one of those babies. Well, ate three baby staccato tortoises because now there's only nine. So we caught the rat. We caught the rat that was in here. Most likely there's only one rat. I'm gonna keep on setting those traps in here every single night. The tortoises are only out during the day right now because it is sunny out. At night it's getting cold, so we're gonna make sure we put them in there. And we're gonna keep on setting those traps up every single night in here, just in case. And even when the tortoises are back inside of here, we're gonna set those traps up and make sure that we're 100% clean around all those bird cages. So there's no extra food anywhere for them to eat except where those traps are at. So we walk over here, and we actually caught that rat. 
You caught the big rat because it was over here. I like to put the traps all around the sides because rats don't really run through the middle. They always run around the sides or wherever the walls are. They like to feel safe so no predators grab them. So we came over here. And look what we caught. It's very humane. It's very fast. It kills them instantly. Just snaps their neck. Kills them. Look right there. Got a large rat that got killed and most likely was the was the one that killed all my baby cicadas, the three baby cicadas. So we lost three lives, we lost another life. It happens, you have to get rid of them sometimes. I don't like killing animals, but he did eat my tortoises and I needed to get rid of it because if I didn't get rid of it, it's gonna repeatedly come back, come back, come back. And that's not good. I don't wanna lose any more tortoises. We have these endangered tortoises over here and I don't wanna lose any. So like you guys see, right here. Very upsetting. Completely ate them all out, and that's just, that's upsetting, guys. That's just, tortoise is getting eaten by rats, and that's not fun, because you lost some baby tortoises, and that could have been life. Those things would have lived forever. You guys know how long cicadas live, and they're only probably alive for about six to seven months now, just like Avatar, because of the same exact age. All right, you guys, so for today's post-notification shout-out goes to John Robbie Fort, said, Notify gang, please shout out, love you, and keep it up. Blake. Thank you. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below in the comments to have another chance of getting shout out you guys. Give this video a thumbs up as well if you guys are enjoying this video. Well, I'm not really enjoying this video at all because it's freaking upsetting that these damn tortoises died because it's not fun losing tortoises. I hate having that happen because these damn rats and predators always happening here coming out on the ranch. But we do have a lot of red tailed hawks that come out here and they do eat rats. I've seen them eat rats before. And before I had a very large chicken coop over there and that chicken coop would have chickens obviously, it's a chicken coop and rats will come in because there's always so much free food and over here we have the parrot and these parrots distract rats, they bring rats so that's one of the reasons why that rat definitely came in but there was no seeds because as you guys saw we just did that video two days ago of cleaning the birds up there was no seeds on the floor and there was no tortoises well there was tortoises out because it wasn't cold that day and he came in and ate some of my baby cigar tortoises so you guys, the reason why I'm always telling you different bad things that are happening on the ranch, the ranch has awesome things all the time as well. But there's a lot of bad things that happen on the ranch and I don't want to make this channel just always positive things. I want to show you guys things that really happen. I want to show you guys things that always happen here on the ranch. But let's leave this video on a positive note and a happy ending. So let's go feed these tortoises right now, you guys, and let's go collect some hibiscus leaves. You guys are probably wondering why I'm walking around with a cup this time with this video. Because I can't I keep on losing my voice, so drink a little bit. Keep on talking. So we're coming over here where my hibiscus is, is growing. And it's in one of my tortoises right over here. We'll come inside of here. I'm gonna put my, whoa, there's a lot of spider webs in here, but that's all right. Spider webs are good to have inside your enclosures. They keep the bugs down. They eat all the bugs. We got these beautiful little crab spiders right there. You can stay there, buddy. We got a bunch of beautiful hibiscus cactus growing in here, but we're gonna collect some hibiscus so we can feed it to those beautiful tortoises that are inside of the patio. Go around, just collect all the leaves. We do here, no pesticides, nothing on here. They grow completely naturally. They're perfect for the tortoises. Just grab a bunch of them. There we go. All right, a few more, and we'll head back over there. Perfect. All right, so we're back here inside the patio, and we're gonna add a few hibiscus leaves in each enclosure so they have some hibiscus leaves to enjoy. There for some of the sulcados right there. Put some more over here for these guys. And they'll eat all these things. Like I said before in many other videos, I'm gonna try for every video to show you guys that we do actually give them different biodia diets every single time. Last time in another video you guys saw with Big G, we're using dandelion. This time we're using hibiscus, because I, I do always have different stuff for these beautiful tortoises. It's very good for the diet to switch it up all the time. Also, we have a little bit more for the spider tortoise down here. <laughs> oh, actually the pinky tortoise. There you go, buddies. Little pinky tortoise. Cool, cool, cool. So that's why I wanted to end this video with a little bit of happiness to show you guys there's not always bad things happening here on the ranch because some of you guys say that, but it's not true. All right, guys, so this is going to be the end of this video here today at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. If you guys were upset and mad about this video happening here on the ranch, 
with the rats eating the baby tortoises, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the upcoming video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.